All right, dishonor. Dishonor on your whole family. Dishonor on your cow. Dishonor on the original. I really miss Mushu. Hello, all my fellow YouTubers and subscribers, and welcome to another movie review, where today I review the 2020 live-action remake of Disney's Mulan. <laughs> this movie was meant to be released in March, but it was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which is still going on, <laughs> although we do have a vaccine in the UK, so that is coming, which is good to know. This movie was put on Disney Plus earlier in the year, with an additional charge to watch it, something like £20 in the UK and $30 in the US. I decided to hell with it, I'll wait till they drop the charge, because they announced back then that they were going to drop the charge on the 4th of December, so kind of shot themselves in the foot from a money-making point of view. And the movie did have a cinematic release, I think in China, I think that was it really, but the COVID situation messed it all up, to be honest. Mulan, this is another Disney live-action remake, and... Yeah, you know what, if the fatigue hasn't set in by now, then there is a problem, because, my goodness me, we've got so many of these remakes, it's just, I mean, I, I was starting to feel tired before, but now, oh. But anyway, on with the film, so the plot of this movie is pretty much the same plot as the original, it centres on a young girl named Mulan, who goes off to fight in the war, to save her father, because her father is, is, he's too old, and he's wounded, and he will not survive out there, so she goes off to war to almost save his life, but also try and prove her family that she isn't a screw-up, and that she can do things right, and bring honour to the family. So there we go, that's the basic plot of Mulan. Now, I've been waiting quite a long time to review this movie, and it is a new release, so how does it fare? Quite honestly, I can kind of see where most of the negative reviews are coming from. Now, I will say this. It's not the worst Disney live-action remake. It's not the worst. It's certainly not the best, either. Uh, but it's very disappointing. Pretty sorry, I just didn't... I just didn't really like this movie that much. I didn't hate it. I have a friend from America called Lauren. She's a lovely girl. She's a really nice person. And we spoke about this on Facebook. She even agrees with me that... The way they portray Mulan in this movie is disgraceful. I'm sorry. They treat Mulan as a Mary Sue, meaning that she's so good at everything. The opening of the movie completely set the tone for me when we see Mulan as a young girl and she's chasing after a chicken and with this stick and she's doing all these weird ninja moves, like she's doing all these acrobatics. So basically she's perfect at everything she does. <sighs> Face palm. Wasn't the whole point of the original that she was a screw up and she was a klutz? She needed to find her place and she was just struggling with acceptance. She was, she was struggling to bring honor to her family and through going to the war and saving her dad, she made a brave sacrifice because she disguised herself as a man in order to save her dad and bring honor to the family and in doing so saving china that kind of happens in this but in a different context it, look it's it's nothing against the actress it really isn't i think the actress is is perfectly okay in the role but i just don't think they wrote the character the way it should have been written in the original it was perfectly written I'm not saying the original was one of the best Disney classics ever, although I do really love it. I just felt that they nailed the character of Mulan much better. Throughout this movie, the whole reason as to why she goes and does this seems to become very confused to me. At first, she goes to save her dad. Fair enough. Then later on, she goes to find her chi or something like, what the fuck? <laughs> then, she almost goes to kind of prove to herself why she's doing it. It's it's just very confused. The message of the story really gets lost for me. It becomes a real mess in the second act. There's a moment where Mulan realizes that the, the writings on her sword are like these truth oaths or something like there's truth, loyalty, bravery or, or something like that. And because she's been dishonest and she's lied about being a man, she decides to hell with it. I'm going to take my armor off and I'm going to ride into battle as a woman. It's supposed to be this big empowering moment which I can understand, but at the same time, it's like, well, what the fuck? Why, why have you done this? In the original, 
she went into battle and then the reason they all knew she, knew she was a woman was because she was exposed when she was injured they obviously found out she was a woman through tending to her wounds in this she just says nah fuck it let's just go into war I don't care if they think I'm a woman or not. I don't care if I get banished or exiled or whatever. I'm still going to do this. The whole point was that she couldn't reveal herself as a woman or she would be killed or exiled. So the moment has no emotional weight for me. Also, the moment when she does actually steal her dad's armor and the sword in the original is a very powerful moment. And I'm sorry, I keep comparing to the original, but I'm sorry, the original did it way better. In this version... All we see is is, an, is is a cutaway, and then she turns around, reveal her in the armor, then she just rides off, cut to the next scene. There is no emotional impact in that moment whatsoever. It is so rushed beyond belief, I cannot tell you. It is just awful. So yeah, for me, the whole storytelling is a mess. I, I think the whole message as to why she's going to do this is just ridiculous, and the fact that she's a Mary Sue, she's basically good at everything so in a way the training scenes are kind of pointless because she can already do these amazing things there's these really great moments in the original where she has to struggle to climb up this pole to reach an arrow there is none of that here she doesn't grow as a character she is the same person at the beginning as she is at the end and that's what I hate about this movie. There is no character growth. And forget the other characters. <laughs> None of them don't seem to matter, really. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't think the movie's a disaster. I mean, the battles are okay. They're fine to watch. Even though, the you know, all the characters can do all these amazing acrobatics that are so unrealistic. Especially Mulan. But, yeah, they're entertaining to watch from a spectacle point. I do think that the aesthetics of the movie are quite good, actually. The first act of the film when we see Mulan's home and we see the culture of China, that's very well displayed on screen. And the colours and the lighting, on a technical level, this movie looks, well, amazing. It looks great. I will actually criticise some dodgy CGI. There's a, there's a couple of moments where the CG doesn't quite hold up, but... I'll let the movie have that, but the aesthetics overall are very good, and it is it is a pleasing movie to watch, definitely on a, on a visual level. And also the, the soundtrack, I think I think it's Harry Gregson Williams who composes the soundtrack. It's a very good soundtrack, and it's definitely reminiscent of the sort of Chinese culture, and also there are certain tracks that are reminiscent of the songs from the original film. This movie, for me, is way too soulless. There is no emotion, there is no heart, it is overly gritty i know it's a movie about a war but come on there is no heart at least the original had some heart now i understand the movie was going for a more serious tone it was a, definitely going for a grittier harsher tone than the original but it feels completely devoid of well charm or, or humor or anything i'm not saying that they needed to have mushu in this movie but man i miss mushu <laughs> i really wish i really wish that mushu was in this movie because it would have given us something Something to laugh about, even though they may have just cast Eddie Murphy again, I don't know. But it would have been nice to give the movie some more light relief, I think. Because uh, it does feel rather soulless and it feels rather weightless, if I'm going to be honest. On an emotional level, it feels very weightless and on a storytelling standpoint, it's very weightless and it's very messy. But the villains, uh, yeah, I don't like them. <laughs> Either of them. There's this weird... Uh, bird, witch, uh, woman. I, I, I don't even know her name. That's how bad she is. She, I don't understand the importance of the bird, witch lady, in the film. I don't get that. She just seems to be in there for no reason, and nobody seems to trust her because they think she's a witch. And then it turns out, oh, maybe she's not all that bad. And I just don't care. I just really don't care. The other guy known as Borag, I, th I think his name is. He wants revenge on the emperor for because the emperor killed his dad i mean how cliched is that we've seen that a million times before oh it's just like nothing about this movie excites me nothing about it invigorates me other than maybe the visuals the music and some of the acting is decent but nobody gives a groundbreaking performance i'll say that the casting is very good you've got you've got some famous People in it like Jet Li, I think, is in it, and Michelle Yeoh is in it, just to name a couple of names. And the main actress playing Mulan, she's not bad. Yeah, she's okay. She's fine. She gives a perfectly acceptable performance. Ultimately, the storytelling is very confused. The message of the story is somewhat lost, and the battle spectacle is nice. And honestly, also, this movie drags quite a lot, particularly with the training scenes. I thought they, they did drag on quite a bit. The movie's lengthy at 
one hour 56 minutes. It's not a long film, but it feels longer than it is. It feels like it's dragged out. I guess that's because the original was 90 minutes. So, at the end of the day, I'm actually glad that I didn't pay to see this movie. I got to watch it for free on Disney+, Plus. so... And that's the only way to see it. I mean, it's a Disney live-action remake. It's not the worst Disney live-action remake. Maybe I'll have to do a ranking of the Disney live-action remakes, but currently, The Lion King is my least favourite of the remakes. But this this one, it's somewhere in the middle. It's It's neither great, nor is it terrible. It's just kind of meh. Like, I just... That's all I see it as. It's a very disappointing movie, and I kind of expected this, to be honest. I mean, the trailer made it made it look like what it was. A kind of a gritty, soulless war movie that attempted to remake the Mulan story. And this is what we got. So overall, I'm going to finish up by giving this movie a... I have to give it a 4 out of 10. Yeah, I'm sorry. To anyone that likes this movie, that's fine. That's, you know, it's just my opinion. You know, I'm not saying this is how you should think of it. This is just my own personal opinion. So please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe if you haven't already for more movie reviews. And thank you very much all for watching. And stay tuned for more Christmas reviews. So until next time, I'm Mr. Tarnas 11. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye for now.